What's up everybody, Gibson's Lawn Service checking back in. Uh, I'm still currently on that job. My trailer right now is loaded down full of leaves. You probably can't see it because of that wheelbarrow. Uh, I maybe have, have I maybe have a quarter load left of leaves I got to get. But what I'm really trying to do now, I'm trying to really get to the dump before they close. Um, I had a, oh man, this would be so much simpler if I had a dump trailer. Still ain't got one. Finances ain't in order like how I thought they was going to be. But uh, what I learned about pricing these jobs, as far as leaf removal, I price leaf removal for $100 an hour. That includes dumping. I have my leaf removal jobs priced at $100 an hour. To me, it's no other. It, you can't go cheaper. To me, you can't go cheaper. You cannot go cheaper. Um, the current job I'm doing now, I have that job booked out for two two full working days, and the third day I'd be counting for like touch up stuff. So I have that job booked out at an hourly rate. Not for I mean, far as everything that needs to be done, because I'm doing the leaves and I'm doing a lot of trimming. Like like tomorrow when I go over there. I may have a, an hour left of leaves, and the leaves will be finished. Then I got to trim a whole bunch of shrubs, trim some crepe myrtles, uh, weed eat the flower beds down real good, trim some trim some overgrown, and haul that to the dump. Right? Tomorrow I'm not gonna focus on making it to the dump because my dump, the dump right here, closes at four, and it's some cottages I'm doing. You can't start until eight o'clock. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and I had a late start. Cause I, I really I underestimated the leaves, but uh, the pricing was still it was still decent on the leaves. I was maybe off on the leaves, maybe uh, maybe an hour and a half. My pricing was like an hour and a half off on the leaves, but that's fine as long as I'm close. Um, what else I was about to say? So and that's that's to me like I said that's the only way you can charge for leaves. And listen, this is what I also wanted to say. People value you different. You understand what I'm saying? Like, for instance, for instance, and this is not to take a shot at nobody. It's, this is not to take a shot at nobody. When you have like apartment complexes and cottages and townhomes, you typically have somebody that is over that whole thing. You typically will have a person that is over that whole operation, right? And I don't know if like, if like property managers live on the property for free. Like if you got a hundred apartment complex, I don't know if the property manager live there for free. And then they kind of get like a little, not, not saying a little bit of pay, but if you're rent paid for lights and water, they still should give you a decent salary. But my thing is this, um, like when you able to meet owners that, that run the show and, 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 and run their own business, they value you. They value, I, don't, I hate to say this, they value the outside people more than they do the inside people. Here's what I, and I'm gonna give you an example on what I mean by that. Like let's say, let's say I own an apartment complex and I got my, my property manager living at the property, right? I'm paying them a decent salary. They stay in there for free. But it's like, let's say, let's say in my, let's say I gotta get a roof put on, on, on all my apartments, right? And the guy that's doing roofs come in and say, yeah, man, it's gonna be 20 grand to do everything. And you're gonna be like, all right, let's do it. Let's go for it, right? 20 grand. The owner of those apartments, he would hold that roof for more valuable than the person that's watching over the whole property. You understand what I'm saying? Because in a sense, how can I put this? Like the person that's over that property can't go tell them roof is nothing. You understand what I'm saying? They 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 kind of have no authority over the roofers, and and that comes with having your own business. But like the roofer can say, um, let let me let me change the scenario. Let's say an electrician. Let's say an electrician say, yeah, you got a problem with your, with your, your receptacle boxes. It's going to be 40, 300 to go and rewire this, rewire that, put this new in, put that new in. And I want to say, yeah, that property manager ain't going to have no authority over that electrician, which is, like I say, that's the part of having your own business. But now 
the owner, he have he 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 will put the electrician above the property manager. He will hold their electrician a little bit more valuable. He will have a little bit more respect um, than the property manager. Now the person that's watching over your property, living at the property, making sure everything okay, we will pay them a little bit of money. But the guy that's coming in doing the work, we gonna pay him whatever he wants. Now I'm not saying that's the, the situation with every case, but as you look at that and you really realize you have to go where you are valued. You understand what I'm saying? And, and the reason, like, okay, the price I gave this guy to clean his property up, it was a high price. It was a high price. But I know the work that's going to go into doing it. The outside looking in is not that much work until you get in it. I had a, uh, one of my clients, I, I normally cut throughout the summer. They bought another property. They wanted the leaves removed. I went and looked. I said, man, it's going to be a three-hour job, including going to the dump, uh, $300. They told me that, that was kind of high. Uh, we feel that's a little high. But when I, what's your and they and they mind I'm about to rake and bag. I'm not raking and bag. But what's the other method of getting these leaves out of here? You got to get them out. You got to pay somebody to do it. And I don't see how somebody else can come in here for peanuts and do them. You understand what I'm saying? You have to go with your value. You now what if I had to drop my price, but I, okay, I do it 175, 200. I didn't have to drop my price with this guy. Gave the guy my price, he said that's that's fine start on this date and we went from there right and that's what you got to look at so i should be finishing up this property wednesday morning and we just gonna keep pushing grinding and going from there